Well, India is preparing to hold its general elections, the largest in the world, later this week. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is widely expected to win a rare third term in power. There are mixed views on what the Indian leader has achieved in his decade at the helm. Rebecca Bunnan reports from Ms Modi's home state of Gujarat. Ten years ago, Narendra Modi stormed to power in a landslide victory. It was a remarkable story. During his election campaign, he spoke of his rise from selling tea as a boy to climbing the ranks of national politics to reach its pinnacle. And fast forward to today and Mr Modi is expected to win another term. At the end of 10 years, he remains popular. And there has hardly been any Prime Minister of India who's remained as popular as he was at the beginning of his term. Neerja Chowdhury is a veteran journalist and author of a book looking at the styles of six different Indian premiers. She says that the introduction of several generous welfare schemes has helped sustain Mr Modi's popularity. These include free grain for 800 million Indians, gas subsidies and cash handouts for women from low-income families. Mr Modi himself takes credit for his government lifting, as he claims, 250 million Indians out of poverty. And his supporters also often point to how well the Indian economy has performed while he has been Prime Minister. It is the world's fastest growing major economy, with official data showing GDP expanded by 7.6% in the last financial year. There has been a lot of development, like all over India. Many states are there, like Gujarat state, UP state, and BR state. All of these states, in that, uh, Modi government has done very beautiful work, like in infrastructure development. But not all Indians feel they have enjoyed the returns from this growth. Bear is a big issue in country, in this country. And the other thing is that the price is very इस कंट्री के अंदर बस इनके पास एक ही मुद्दा है हिंदू मुस्लिम हिंदू मुस्लिम जो चीज को देखने का है वो चीज को पे फोकस नहीं करते ये लोग While average incomes have risen IMF data shows that inflation has hovered around 5% during the 10 years Mr Modi's been in office dipping only below the 4% level twice as the leader of the nationalist Bharatiya Janata Party in a country where Hindus form the majority of the population, Mr Modi has also pushed hard on the party's religious agenda. He's what is called the king of Hindu hearts. So somewhere that, that has had an appeal. And it's polarized society around, along Hindu-Muslim lines, majority-minority line. The BJP has played on all the fault lines. <laughs> In 2019, the Modi government also passed a citizenship law which excludes Muslim migrants. The UN's Human Rights Office called it fundamentally discriminatory, which the government rejects. Polarisation is an ongoing theme for Narendra Modi, going back to when he was chief minister of the Indian state of Gujarat in the 2000s. Many credited him with transforming the economy there, but he's also been a controversial figure accused by some of turning a blind eye to deadly riots in his home state in 2002 that claimed hundreds of lives. He was effectively banned from the United States for some time because of questions over his role in the 2002 Gujarat riots. But over the past decade, he has travelled extensively to build relations with the world's most powerful leaders and has been warmly welcomed at the White House. As well as boosting India's image internationally, Mr Modi has focused on improving India's infrastructure, expanding the manufacturing sector and growing the country's digital economy. This drive to modernise India is a sharp contrast to the humble village of Vadnagar in Gujarat, where Mr Modi's roots lie. This was the stall at the railway station in Vadnagar where, as the story goes, Mr Modi as a boy used to help his father selling tea. It's currently under renovation to be preserved. There isn't any reliable evidence to support the claim, but it's an important part of the Modi narrative. There's even a model of him as a chai waller at the local museum. His primary school has been redeveloped as a centre for students to be inspired by Mr Modi and people in the village are proud of what he has achieved. None more so than Shamodas Modi, a relative of the Prime Minister who was brought up in the same household. Mr 
कि तुम तुम्हारे जबर में आ गए ना तुम सामने हो गए ना तो समझ में आएगा गाड़ी चुक गए इतना वो पावरफुल है इसका दिमाग Opinions are divided over Modi's decade in power, but it's the same determination he had as a boy that has helped make him a formidable force in Indian politics and could help him secure another term in power. To manage a feat achieved only by the country's first prime minister, Jawaharlal Nehru, and the dominant Indira Gandhi. Rebecca Bunsen, CNA, Vadnagar and Gujarat.